Welcome to the CTTP training videos. In this video, obtaining the aggregate correction factor for the air pressure test is demonstrated as described in ASTM C231. To prepare the aggregate sample, collect samples of coarse and fine aggregate used in the concrete mix design. Use the aggregates in their natural condition. Combine aggregates according to the mix design proportions to fill the measuring bowl. For example, if the volume of the measure is 0.249 cubic foot and the mix design says to use 900 pounds per cubic yards of coarse aggregate, divide 0.249 by 27, the number of cubic feet in a cubic yard, and then multiply by 900. The result of 8.3 pounds is how much of the coarse aggregate is needed for the batch. Do this for all aggregates and combine the weighed portions. After preparing the aggregate, fill the measuring bowl one-third full with water. Place a small amount of mixed aggregate into the measuring bowl. Make sure that all of the aggregate stays below the water surface. Tap the sides of the measure with a mallet. Lightly rod the upper one inch of aggregate eight to twelve times with the tamping rod. Stir the aggregate to eliminate trapped air. Remove foam accumulations promptly. Repeat the filling steps until all aggregate is placed in the measuring bowl. Add water if necessary to keep aggregate below the water level. One method of removing the foam is to use a syringe to suck the foam from the surface. Wait the estimated time period, which should mimic the time between introducing water at the plant and testing concrete on the job site. Half an hour to one hour is typical. Fill the measuring bowl full with water. Screw the lower straight tube into the threaded petcock hole on the underside of the cover. Place the cover assembly on top of the measure with the tube extending down into the aggregate. Clamp the cover assembly to the measure. Clamp opposite clamps at the same time. Ensure the clamp fingers are fully under the flange to prevent leaks. Inject water into the petcock with the attached lower tube. When water emerges from the other side, jar the meter to expel trapped air under the cover. Top off both petcocks with water. Close the air bleeder valve. Pump and stabilize the dial gauge hand on the initial pressure line. The initial pressure line is generally marked on the dial face. The initial pressure marks are located just below the zero mark. Attach the upper curved tube to the same petcock with the lower tube. Place the calibration vessel under the tubing to catch the water. Close the petcock opposite from the tubing. Open the main air valve by depressing the lever carefully to fill the calibration vessel. The calibration vessel is usually 5% of the bowl volume but must be determined according to Annex sections A1.2, A1.3, and A1.4.2. Open the petcock opposite of the tubing to allow the water in the tubes to drain back into the measure. Pump and stabilize the dial gauge hand on the initial pressure line.
close both petcocks, hold the main air valve open and tap the sides of the bowl with the mallet. Tap the dial gauge lightly with your fingers until the reading is stabilized. Read the dial reading and then release the main air valve. Record the amount of water removed as a percentage of the bowl volume. The aggregate correction factor is equal to the reading on the dial gauge minus the percent volume of water removed from the measuring bowl. For example, if the dial reading was 5.2% and you removed 5.0% water, the aggregate correction factor would be 0.2%. Please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.